Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how I color graded this concert footage in DaVinci Resolve. So I took this footage like two years ago in a concert and I recorded this in SLOG 3. So this is how our footage looked before and this is how I'll grade it. This is my node structure. So I will teach you step by step how I graded this and how I reached from this to this. So let's get into it. So first I will delete all of them and reset this node so our first node will be our temperature node so you can see there little bit of warm hue in this footage you can see from here light source so we will adjust that so one thing you can do pick this picker tool and click on any white surface so like if i click here and so yeah it's almost done but uh, it's not that good so we will try to adjust it manually so here it's look good to me so this is the original footage and we set the white balance so this is now how it will look like so now the highlights are complete whites so i want to make separate these skin tones and the clean whites so this is my goal now i will create next node which will be our x709 we will go into effects and choose our color space transform in input color space i will choose s gamut cine this one and input gamma i will choose s log 3 and for output color space i will choose rec 709 and rec 709 a we will keep this rec 709 at the end so one one of my viewer told me why can't we do it at the end so yeah we will keep it at the end and we will do the uh, contrast saturation skin tones and the look before our X709 it gives us more leverage and more color information so we will keep it at the end so now I will create another node will be our contrast I will name it and second node will be our saturation third node will be our look and the fourth node will be our skin tones I'll arrange them in parallel node structure each one of these will get information from this node and I will mix them with parallel mixer so this will act as a output node for this and all of them are like mixed all of the information from all of this node will be mixed and will go to rec 709 we can do this uh, one by one but if you do the parallel structure it gives us most, more color information because we are taking information from this raw node or if i disable this rec 709 so we are taking information from this footage so first we will do this contrast some people choose this curve to adjust the highlights and shadows but i don't do it if you want you can do it from these curves you can choose specific points on this curve and make the adjustments as if you want but i choose these primary wheels to make my contrast better so i will increase the shadows a little bit And for mid tones, I will decrease them. And for highlights, I will decrease highlights a little bit. So you can see, you can see a little detail here. And I will go into the HDR mode. And here I can increase the dark areas. For the shadows also decrease the light a little bit and global wheel just on about here so you can see in our scopes so it's perfectly like lit and white balance is correct each red green and blue graphs are equal almost so there are a little bit of green and blues which is this purple color right here so this will be our contrast we will do before and after and now we will do the saturation go into the saturation node and i go into the curves or one thing you can do you can increase the saturation from here if you want to but it not works for me so i go into the curves and make saturation for each colors individually i've select all of these colors right here to mark them on this graph so this is hue versus hue graph so you can change one hue into different hues like if you, I pick the red one I can change it into any hue I want like purple 
and this is green take this one and decrease it a little bit so we can get, get clean skin and for this yellow I will increase it upwards so I'll remove the green hue in our footage and there is no greens there is no blues so in purple I will try to increase it a little bit so it gives a contrast to our skin now I will move into the hue versus saturation so this graph is like if I pick red one so you can increase the, the amount of color in each hue like if I increase it you can see the red color will increase and if I take this purple color and increase it you can see the purple is increased here so this is the amount of color that each hue has so we will adjust them individually like before so I want this color to round about here and the yellows I also want it to a little bit up yeah and this is will be hue versus luma each color has a brightness so we can decrease or increase the brightness for each individual color let's say I pick the red one like you can see the brightness here if I decrease it it will be darkened you can see and if we increase it it will be increased so I will darken it a little bit and for the yellows too and for purples it's round about here so this is uh, our saturation node done you can see the difference we have removed the color cast purple color cast on our skin with the help of the saturation node and now we will move to our look part so for look I will go into the primary wheels which are color wheels make sure first you add these color wheels and then into the log wheels so I will bring the left towards blue so I will look the onto these blacks so I get clean blacks and purple color here and for the gamma I will increase the red a little bit towards red and yellow and for the gain also I will increase you can play around with this to get your desired results so this looks better to me and I will go into the log wheel and I will change the highlights I think highlights are already equal so yeah I'll not change them yeah these are already perfect no need to change them now I will go into this uh, curve section and I will select each RGB channels red green and blue channels and adjust them in highlights and shadows so, so I will decrease reds a little bit in the highlights and in the shadows I will decrease them too I will choose now green and you can see a little bit of green I will try to decrease it a little bit so I can get clean highlights and in the shadows I will decrease green a little bit turn about here and for the blues too I will I will not change blues in the highlight because they are already perfect or they are already equal so I will try to decrease blues in the shadows so I can get clean blacks right here so now you can see the difference in our look have we have made and now uh, we will try to adjust our skin so you can see it's a little bit of saturated uh, yellow so first thing we will do we will select this color with this color picker tool and make this our hand separate so around about here so here our footage look good we will increase this pre-filter and then i will increase this polar radius so using this hs tool i separated my skin tones in this footage and now i will go into our primary rails and try to decrease reds a little bit and decrease greens too and in the gamma i will try to decrease reds too and green also so you can see the difference that it made I'm increasing it a little bit so you can see uh, to match the shadows here so I'll keep it around here and you can see the difference it's made so yeah this is it and the last thing that we have to do we will apply a color lot that we already have in DaVinci Resolve to 
increase the color density of our footage so we will select right click on this node and go into the LUT and the film looks and I will select you can select any of these based on your own look I will select this uh, Rexon 9 codec D65 so this will increase the contrast in your footage and I will try to decrease a little bit so I will go into this key area and decrease the gain key output so round about here so this is the difference it made it will increase the contrast in your footage and also the color density so this is it these are the node structure that we used and we came from this to this and let me show you how much difference color temperature makes so if i disable the color temperature our footage is like this so yeah make sure before grading any footage you adjust the color temperature of that footage and this is how our final product will look like so yeah this is it so if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please do subscribe to our channel for more these types of color grading tutorials in davinci resolve and if you have any specific requirement or what type of tutorials you want you can let me know in the comments and i'll make a video about that so thank you have a good day